Let's talk about neuralation. Neuralation is defined as the first steps in the formation of the brain and spinal cord and vertebrates, organisms with backbones. Now, we first begin with dorsal mesoderm cells. Dorsal meaning the backside, and mesoderm meaning the middle germ layer. These mesoderm cells form what we call the notochord. The notochord is a rod that extends along the dorsal side of a chordate embryo. Now, after the notochord is formed, we have mesodermal cells and other tissues secreting signaling molecules which tell the ectoderm, the outer layer, to form the neural plate. The neural plate consists of two neural folds, which are the two ridges that form the lateral edges. Now, we can depict this ectoderm to neural plate transformation in this series of illustrations. So here we can see that the cells in the neural plate start to sh change shape. They curve inward. So we can see this inward curve right here. And as we curve inward, we see these little fragments start to trickle down. These are the fragments of the neural crest. In this final picture, we can see the ectoderm having reformed, the neural tube beneath it, and the notochord beneath the neural tube. To the side of the neural tube, we can see the neural crests. Now, the neural crests are basically structures that later migrate and form a variety of tissues, such as skull fragments or teeth. The neural tube will form along the anterior or posterior axis. The anterior refers to the head end, and the posterior sort of refers to the rear tail end. So it's going to be the, along that axis that the neural tube will form. The neural tube will form the brain and the spinal cord. Now, if we look at this general picture, this cross-section of a developing embryo, we can see the entire picture. First, at the very top, we'll have the ectoderm right here in the outer layer. Below the ectoderm, we'll have the neural tube. To the side of the neural tubes, we'll see the neural crests. And below the neural tube, we'll again see the notochord. Now, to the side of the notochord, we'll have somites, which are basically blocks of mesoderm cells that form and will later organize the structure of the body of the vertebrae. And they'll also become mesenchyme cells as well. At the same time, we'll have developing structures of coelomes, which are considered body cavities. This, in its entirety, represents a cross-section of a developing embryo, in this case, a frog. We have three germ layers. The inner one is the endoderm, the second one is the mesoderm, and the outer layer is called the ectoderm. In the endoderm, we also have the developing structure of an archenteron, which is basically the pre-digestive system. This, in a whole, represents the process of neuralation, the formation of the brain and spinal cord and vertebrates.